Hello and welcome to another edition of Clean Nuts, the uh, channel that celebrates everything mechanical. And we've got rain and cold weather again, so no motorbike action. So let's uh, have a go at the light bar and see if we can get some bright lights flooding out the front of the truck. So brought it up, off with the grill, get that screw out, those four nubbins across the top. My initial idea was to have the light bar inside, behind the, you can just see it, had it in there. But uh, they were so tight, couldn't get any brackets made up to fit it. And then it was always awkward getting it in there. And so I made this bracket up out of some angle iron. Just give it a quick uh, rub down and uh, painted it with um, hammerite. So that goes inside and my plan is to rivet it into the uh, bumper. As you can see, even that just the bracket is difficult to get out that slot in there. So much better choice to have it on the outside. So there's the two just offering it up. Looks quite good I think. Just securing it to have a look at it. Get it lined up and then mark the holes on the inside and drill through. Double and triple checking, trying to get it central and making it look just right. It's important to me. So drilling through, putting a rivet in, the hole I've just drilled to just hold it all in the same place while I drill the other holes. So as you know, I always like to enjoy my work, so having a quick test, see what it's going to look like. Well pleased, I mean it's unbelievably bright. Quite thrilled. So here, moved on to the wiring and sort of making up a harness as I go along. Really, I do like shrink wrap or heat shrink tubing. Get it all weather tight and protected from rubbing. Bit of a brutal way to heat shrink, but uh, it's effective. So carrying on with the routing of the wiring, I found myself a good, uh, an ideal spot for the earth. And uh, just checking the bolt had a captive nut on the back. Looking good. So line that up. Need a little loop on the end of my uh, earth wire. More brutal heat shrinking. Got that loop on there. Now I'm guessing most of you can fit a light bar, make a bracket, do the mechanics. And the bit that's really concerning you is the wiring. There's three components to the wiring. The light bar with its power supply. It needs an earth and a positive. The main beam, which has an earth and a positive, but of a lower rating. You can't just connect the light bar to it, you'll burn it out. It has to go through a relay. That's the third part. So the relay is a switch. And when these yellow wires are energized, it switches, it connects this wire directly from the battery through the fuse to this blue wire, which will be connected to this wire, which runs the light. And that's the earth. So I hope that's clear. Now I'm gonna mount the light bar with 10 rivets. Nice long ones. I'm also going to put a bit of silicon on as a uh, belt and braces. Bit of silicon. So just pulling down that rivet and do the same with the other nine. So we've got ten rivets holding it down and the silicon. So there's the five roots on the left, the five roots on the right, and we've got silicon as well. So there's the mounting bolts or anchor points for the light. I gave up on the idea of having it behind the grill. 
There just wasn't room to fit it. 13 mil socket, 13 mil nuts. Now the exciting bit, fit in the light bar. Spring washer, of course. Plenty more heat shrink and uh, netting wrap. There's a shot of the relay and the wiring that hooks up to the main beam, so it comes on when they put the main beam on. So just tighten that down, put the grill back on, and we're ready to rock and roll. Right, are you ready? Well, there it is, let's back it out. Now look carefully in the next clip where I've slow mode it and you can see the relay take its time to close. Ready? There. In, that's in slow mo. Just illustrates how long it takes for the relay to close compared to the lights. So there's dip beam. Boom! There's daylight. Wow, I'm pleased with that. That is amazing. It's so light. Look at that tree tunnel. Dip beam. Main beam. Look at the width of the beam. This railway bridge. It's amazing. Bit on the bumpy side. I'm really impressed. With great power comes great responsibility. There's dip beam. There's main beam. Oh my goodness, look at the trees. It's amazing. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed Clean Nuts. Remember to like and subscribe if you like the videos. They're just for fun. And I'll see you next time.